My illustrious Passwa snappers. Oh yeah, they snap everywhere just for you. Today is your slice of yoga tree. Today we'll be talking about flight. Flight. And I wrote you some. Flying isn't always found in the sky. Sometimes true soaring is found on the ground. The elite version of yourself, premium and perfectly pressed, trimmed like a vision, eyes of hieroglyphics. Passed down as wheels, never needed a better deal, it keeps rolling perfectly, even after all these years. Brands don't, accentu Brands don't accentuate the human like a little thinking. We glide and strive to stay striding. It's not always kept in the sky. Sometimes it's found right inside your mind. Keep writing, you guys. I love you so much. Write about flying. Write about soaring. Write about anything right now. After you, Jane Chen. Five thousand feet above the ground, steadily climbing, I think about the idea of flight. How poetic it is to defy gravity to be so close to heaven that you can almost grasp it, how it is so beautiful as a concept when it isn't ripping people apart. And I think about how 500 miles per hour above the clouds is the only way I'm allowed to see my family flying always. Perhaps that's why I've always loved airplanes, corny movies on low quality screens and Bruno Mars playing through a tinny pair of free earbuds, how a foreign country or an airplane is the only place I can sleep in front of strangers. And I think about how birds only fly so far when they migrate or escape the cold, as though we are coming here to stay or perhaps to flee. And I find it fascinating how I'm most at home here in the sky, both everywhere and nowhere all at once between my home and the home of my ancestors. Purgatory, how this midpoint is where I belong, how I am an argument between the clouds. We chase time, cheat death and dance through time zones as if to say, I dare you to take an hour away from me. Only we could have figured out a way to outrun the sun. I turn and look at my mother and watch her slowly relax as she nears her mother and remember that for the immigrant, homeland is a process delayed. Remember that I am what I will abandon once again. Remember who I am, who I am born of, and feel my muscles slowly relax one by one. I feel my grandmother's blood coursing through my veins and realize that my strength is not enough. Realize that my strength is nothing compared to the woman that raised my mother. Feel generations of women in my family with fire in their eyes and feel that fire blaze in my own soul. Everything I know about courage, I learned from my mother, who refused to acknowledge fear and brave the world without question. Everything I know about resilience, I learned from the woman who raised eight children alone in a country that did not want to allow her to do it. To think that this sky is the only thing between my grandmother and I. To think that this sky thought it could survive being the only thing between my grandmother and I. To think that this sky thought it could survive my grandmother and I. We turn cartwheels through the sky and dare to call ourselves immortal. Dare to call this migration a homecoming and not a departure. Dare to call this migration a repentance instead of a repetition of our sins. Dare to be here in the sky smiling with all our bones and daring to come back home. Poetry. Poetry. Poetry is the shot orbiting, circling, revolving, Exploding. It's the open window. It's caught. Smoking. Smoking. It's the flame. And it tastes delicious. It's loaded into the magnum and it's shot. 
Fat. Right back into your heart. That's poetry. Poetry. It's the painter and the portrait. into the portrait. It's the paper ripped off the easel and crumpled up. <laughs> ah! And then thrown into orbit. It's a forest of trees. Bushes, underbrush. A blazing sun. A red-tailed falcon rising up towards the sourceful sun, bursting out, sunbathed red falcon swoops down. It's a butterfly. It's the Bombay doors opening the mushroom cloud. The nuclear winds disintegrating hair, eyes, clattering teeth, bones, he's gone. It was all about language in the Fox Cities today. People gathered in Menasha for the Flying Words Project. It's an American Sign Language poetry, poetry troupe comprised of deaf poet Peter Cook and hearing co-author Kenny Lerner. The event is a way to expand the concept of poetry by making it active and giving it a more physical presence. Both Cook and Lerner say the event is unique. Any spoken language has its own poetry. Well, sign does too. We have our own poetry. And so we want to teach people about that. We want to inspire people in that way. The event was put on by The Mill, a place for writers. It's a Fox City's literary center providing classes in writing fiction, poetry, creative nonfiction, and more. My visions are my torture. My visions are my comfort. Turquoise visions, turquoise flying. For those whose hearts are not tired of sowing in the field of dreams. For the journey is bittersweet. Half hurt, half tenderness. Like thorny milk thistle, like sweet smelling jasmine. Accepting variety and different behaviors. Going beyond wrongdoings and right doings into new and more thriving harvests. My visions are my scrambling ascent. My visions are my sacred conquest. 
Turquoise visions Turquoise flying For those whose hearts can admire the phosphorescent hopes of the sunset For the journey is rugged Half uphill Half downhill Like bare time in the winter cold Like bees gathering nectar from spring blossoms Evoking the rain's lament and the sun's caress Going beyond unpleasant and pleasant reactions onto new and even higher peaks. My visions are my futile mirages. My visions are my sweetest oases. Turquoise visions, turquoise flying. For those whose hearts are refreshing fountains of muses' songs. For the journey is uncharted. Half tempest, half tranquility. Like a wavy, turbulent sea on a windy day Like crystal, serene waters under the shimmering sun Sailing over low and high tides Going beyond traumatic and fond memories into new and longed for harbours. My visions are my lightning duty. My visions are my radiant basking. Turquoise visions, turquoise flying. For those whose hearts shine brightly through storms For the journey is evolving Half empirical, half innate Seeing what I encounter, seeing what I know Painting the world in dark and iridescent hues going beyond detrimental and beneficial beliefs into new and more exquisite rainbows our visions are our unmanifested ashes Our visions are our golden wings. Golden visions, golden flying.